Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video we're going to learn how to replace missing values with the median imputation method in R. Now when we read data into R we very often come across occasions when values are missing. So this could be a data entry error or a user error or data not being recorded. Uh, but we need to be able to deal with these missing values in order to conduct any data analysis. So in this um, video here, we're going to look at how we will replace a missing value with the median value of a particular data set. So in order to see what we're looking at, let's read in a data file and take a look at it and see a missing value. The file I'm reading in is a CSV file called 76 underscore data underscore file. Uh, this CSV file, along with all data files and all our scripts um, used in this series of videos, are available in my GitHub. You'll find a link to that in the information section um, beneath this video on the YouTube page. So let's go ahead and read in this data and print it out to take a look at it. Now this is made up sales data uh, for uh, 10 records and we can see in this and we highlight them all that there are two rows where there are records missing. Uh, there's a value missing for record number four and re record number five or line five has a value missing. Now we're not going to concentrate on the code missing value uh, on line four. We want to take a look at the NA value for in the revenue variable. Now we don't know what that value is, so we cannot just make up a value and put it in there. We also don't want to put in a zero, and we also can see that the NA has been inserted because the original data set has a blank in it. So there's a few um, things we need to do to set ourselves up in order to replace that NA value with the median value for revenue. So first of all, let's take a look and see if we can identify all the data sets um, that are not complete. So I'm going to use the uh, not operator with the complete cases function. And the thing I'm looking for here is a complete cases in all of the sales data. Use a comma after that and a space for readability. So what I'm doing here is I'm taking my sales data. I want to look in the square brackets at all values where the complete cases for sales data should show up complete cases. But because I've added in the not uh, operator here it should show the uh, um, cases where they are not complete so let's run that and we can see it highlights lines four and lines five so we now let's say for example i want to calculate the median value for the revenue figure here so let's do, let's go ahead and do that using the median function median function and i'm going to do this for sales sales data sales data, apologies for the typo there, dollar sign, and for the revenue figure here. So we've got a missing value, but let's see if we're able to calculate the median. So let's run this, and we can see that we're getting an NA return. So in other words, I cannot do this basic uh, st uh, descriptive statistic for the revenue variable because there is a missing value in it. So what I need to be able to do is I want to calculate the median value for all revenue values, excluding the one on line five where the NA occurs. All right? And then I can insert that median value to replace the NA. So first of all, we need to calculate the median value for uh, the remaining nine records that are here. So let's go ahead and do that. And to do this, we're going to need a new variable. So I'm going to call this um, med rev, median revenue for short. I'm going to assign it. And I need to be able to then um, um, figure out a way of calculating the median but leaving out the NA value. So the way I'm going to do this is, first of all, um, I'm going to yeah, use the median function again. My sales data dollar sign revenue, pick that up, comma. And then the way I leave out the um, NA value is to do NA dot rm, for short for remove, is equal to, I want to set that to true. So in this case here, I, I can calculate the median value of the sales revenue um, uh, variable, but I can use, it should be na, not ma, I can use the na.rm parameter, set it to true, and then it should ignore the na value in the calculation. So let's run this, and I want to print out the medrev variable to see what value it is, median re re revenue run this, and we can see that the median value of the nine full complete cases is 21,000. So now I want to insert that 21,000 into the NA. So for example, uh, if I print out the data set, if 
I print that value out, we can see that the Na value is still there. So we've, even though we've calculated the median, we have not inserted it yet. So that's our next task. So to do this, what I need to do is I'm going to uh, use um, um, I'm going to use the is.na function to help me do this. So um, the first thing is sales data. I need to reassign my sales data using the square bracket. And I'm going to ask R to tell me, are there any NA values in the sales data revenue column? So we can see that there is. So I wanted to put, identify that using the is.na function. So what that does, it's going to ask R in my sales data dollar sign uh, revenue in this case and then after that put in a comma because I'm using square brackets here so data revenue and the re I want to identify the column by name so revenue and do the when it, once it, we should this should be able to identify is there an NA value in the sales data revenue variable and there is and we call this the uh, by row title but we could use a number as well it's, it's column number five the uh, column name is revenue and then once I've done this I can just assign the medra variable median of the revenue which I have just calculated so let's I want to need to put a, a there's a typo there at the beginning of the line so let's take a look at this again and uh, should be happy to go let's run this and now print out sales data print function sales data so let's run this line of code and we can see now that our median value of 21,000 has been inserted into the NA in the revenue column. We quite often use the median value in, in, in to replace missing values here because it is less um, affected by outliers. So that's how you replace a missing value using the median imputation method. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.